In this video, we're using the X-Tool S1 to engrave on a curved surface like this spoon or something like this. Let me show you how to do it. This is the X-Tool S1. It has the ability to engrave on a curved surface like these spoons. You can also do this with a few other X-Tool machines and I have that video linked down in the description. We're gonna start with this spoon right here. So typically, if you were to try to engrave on this curved surface, it wouldn't be an even engrave because the depth is different for each place. But there's a way to get a nice even engrave all the way across. So I'm using my X-Tool 40 watt. You can use any of the diode lasers to do this, depending on which one you have and what material you're using. I'm gonna place this on the honeycomb. And if I put this in here, it does move around a little bit. And the sensor on the laser here is going to push on this and make it move. So we need to stabilize this. The little clips work really well just to make sure it does not move around when the sensor comes to hit it. So I feel like that's pretty good. Let's go over to XCS. Okay, we are in XCS. I've got my S1 connected in the top right here. Now we need to choose our operation. So where it says process on base plate, it's gonna give us all the different things we can do. I'm choosing curved material. Right next to curved material, you'll see this kind of curved plane. We're gonna click on that and measure our surface. So the S1 has a multi-point marking system. It doesn't have a camera. And so normally you would move your laser head where you want it and mark the area. So we're gonna do that very similarly here. But what's cool is you can actually move the laser with these arrows right here. And I can adjust the distance that it will go each time I move it. But I can set this up perfectly without walking all the way over to my laser. So this looks good for the first point. Now I'm going to click mark right here on the screen, not the button on the laser. It's going to take a measurement of that top corner, then come back. And now we'll set the point for the bottom right corner. Next up, we have this graph. And what our S1 is going to do is start measuring each one of these squares so we have an accurate depth map of the entire spoon. And you can change around these columns and rows. I like to go with whatever X tool suggests. This seems to work well for me. Once all the measurements are done, I get this really cool look of what my spoon looks like. I can adjust the smoothness or the tension here, but I found, as with other machines, that their recommendations do work pretty well. So now I've got this little box in which my design is going to go. So let's put something in there. So this looks good to me. I do want to hit that framing button and just see exactly where this is going to go. So that looks good to me. Now let's set some settings. Couple things to keep in mind. We always want to hit engrave because that's what we're doing here. Because of the tedious process of measuring each point on the spoon, the speed is decreased on our S1. So the highest we can go is a speed of 30 which means you wanna go really low power. I've gone up to about 10 on these wooden spoons. These are kind of made out of a really light wood and 10 gives you a pretty deep engrave. So we're gonna do a power of six on this one. And then we can close that lid and go ahead and hit process. So that 
that is curved surface engraving on the X-Tool S1. We have a beautiful engrave all the way across. It is very even, whether it's really deep or really shallow. This is a great technique to have if you are gonna do anything with a curve. Just keep in mind it is a much slower process than we're used to. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I am here every week with new videos that help you move forward in your creative journey. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.